is the book of Jude, verse 24. No, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wacha, Khwadash, a double honor to mighty chairs, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim Wurwai Ladar, sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wacha, Khwadash, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamian, from the branch here in Great Millstone, Barbados. <coughs> from the headmen on down, right? From the word of Yahweh. That's who you ignorantly call God or Jehovah. That's his name in the Lashawan Kwadash, the Paleo Hebrew. And his son's name is Yahavashai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Christ in the Hebrew is Mashiach, which means the anointed. The word of the Lord tells you in Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great rich and poor, free and born, to receive a charagma, that is the word for mar in the Greek, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. If you don't have their tag to prove that you belong to them, you cannot participate in their society you can't buy nothing to eat clothes to wear pay your bills drive your car conduct your business etc once you have that mark then you can function in their society and be their puppet be their slave because that's what it's ultimately going to be but the elect will not take this karagma the scripture tells you in the book of Surat, um, Surat, I think, chapter 2, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, right? And they that love him will keep his ways. And um, keeping in the Lord's ways is to be as uh pure or I should say our integrity to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and not worshiping other gods or idols right is the main way that the Lord dwells with us. Once we don't worship other idols, worship other gods, the Lord will dwell with us. But if you take this charagma a lot of you took the job, the jump shot. You accepted another another deity. And it turned around and destroyed you. Destroyed your body. It took your life. Right? Destroyed your spirit. See? Right? So the next one now is going to be this C hit. That's the next one that is going to. Um, well, the scripture says it best, Revelation 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. So, you could be in Zimbabwe, you could be in Alaska, you could be in Morocco, you could be in Cuba, 
you could be in Amazon, wherever you are located. The hour of temptation will come upon all the world. I mean, I got to make an appointment for $8,000. I'm like, why do I got to do all that? He said, oh, they don't keep that. Yeah, man, I'm at Citibank right now. I want to take my money out. You know what I'm saying? I'm buying a car. I'm doing a friend of a favor, right? I'm buying a car for her. She sent me $8,000, right? And um, when I went to withdraw the money, they said they couldn't give me that money. I said, why not? They said they don't have that cash in there. It's only $8,000. That's not the money. I said, what the hell? It's only $8,000, right? Hold on. See right here. See the bank right here. Yeah, so he's talking about, oh, next time when I come in, I got to make an appointment for $8,000. I'm like, why do I got to do all that? He said, oh, they don't keep that type of um, cash in here no more. You know what I'm saying? They don't do that anymore. Even check gonna go out soon. So that digital thing gonna come on, y'all. No, it's ironic. <clears throat> I had a conversation with one of my um one of my employers, you know. Um and he asked me if I had any problems making my deliveries dealing with cash. And I said, well, what do you mean specifically? Um, because of robberies and etc. I tell him, well, no, uh, I move as careful as possible, blah, blah, blah. He said, well, we may have to go digital online and let people pay online one time and done. I said, well, yeah, well, that's where everything is headed, so I see no problem with that. So this is where we're headed, people. And the I told you so moment is right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So be ready for that. There's not going to be no more cash. So be ready for that, y'all. This thing is serious, though, y'all. That's messed up, though. Wow. What CBDC and digital IDs and vaccine passports will do is they will snap into place a fourth fence. And when that fence snaps into place, we are locked down financially and digitally. I call it digital concentration camps. Mm. This technology can turn our homes, our cars, and our communities literally into digital concentration camps. <laughs> when I say that, people don't believe that the vision is this dark, but I want to show you three videos to give you a sense of what this feels like. The first video is Augustine Carsons, who is the head of, he's the general manager of the Bank of International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And the word enterprise means to be successful. So um he so he didn't think he will succeed with his nwo agenda but sad to say it is not going to be the case because our lord is going to intervene so he will intervene because you had a set time to rule you know and the lord's about to take this kingdom from you, but before that happens, we know and understand that you're going to come with great wrath. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Go to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. A short time to do what? A short time to rule. Before the Heavenly Father sends his son back, right? Gives his son the horse nod, meaning it's time because not even our Lord Yahweh Shai knows when he's returning. You, you <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So, yo, when the Lord gets that horse nod from his father, 
The Lord's going to credit a travailing woman, boy. I can just imagine it right now, boy. I can imagine it, boy. I can sit down here right now. I can imagine all you people. You people give me, give me, um, it's real. The scripture says it best. Revelation 1 verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, so let it be, or so be it. So, yo, that can be a beauty, boy. Say Matthew 24, verse 36. But of that day, an hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So when Yahweh turns to his son and gives him the horse nod, <laughs> our redemption draws nigh, boy. You know what I mean? And come down and sit in the dust, Isaiah 47, verse 1 and 2. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. <laughs> so, do what you gotta do. You know, the the charisma is right around the corner. So, just hold on, brothers. I gotta speak for myself too, you know what I mean? Pray for strength, pray for endurance, you know what I mean? Was that Numbers the sixth chapter, the anointing prayer? The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord may his face shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Yeah? All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.